From Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Original equipment manufacturer JA Engineering has showcased the latest in its range of underground mining equipment, the JA E38 Wild Cup, which is a low to mid seam continuous mining machine used in the coal industry. Molyne Arnoldi attended the showcase. The radio remote controlled JA E38 Wild Cup uses its weight to convert high cutting power into production, incorporating some of the design philosophies and principles of its predecessor, the JA E42 Wildcat. The machine has been designed for use in typical hard cutting room and pillar coal mining where a high cutting force is required. However, it can be modified for softer rock applications. JA Engineering CEO Matimba Mahanga tells us that the majority of components of the Wildcat, including the steel and gears, are made locally, but some high tech components such as electronics are imported. He unpacks the maintenance and field service offering of the machine. So when the machine goes underground for, for mining, okay, there's interventions that happen. We've got the field service technicians uh, that will regularly go there and see the machine and see how it performs and check the various critical components within the machine, um, how they are doing, how they are performing. That also helps us with um, feedback to the engineering department so that the R&D process can improve those components. But then it also has sensors within itself for this piece of equipment to operate well underground. Uh, for instance, if you look at the currents uh, within the motors, okay, uh, there will be sensors so that if it's cutting uh, uh, under tough conditions, uh, say it encounters a rock, okay, in order to save those motors, then there has to be a cutoff of the power, okay. Uh, the sensors in terms of dust. Uh, we've got a scrubber on the machine, so it's going to sense how much dust is coming through. Uh, the sensors on the hydraulic system, so there's multiple of sensors around the machine to make sure that it, it, it works, uh, it operates optimally. Among the first customers of the new machine is the Forzando North coal mine of Overlooked Colliery in Pumalanga, as well as a mining company in India. Mahange sees potential for more orders coming from India and Australia as these are among the world's strongest growing coal mining markets. In fact, JA Engineering's factory in Underbolt is already equipped and versed to manufacturing according to conditions and specifications of these markets, which vary from the conditions and specifications of South Africa. Mahange explains the difference between the machines going into these markets. So when you look at uh Coal, because that's what is gonna is gonna cut them. Um, these machines are uh, operate in an environment where we say it's soft rock. Soft rock, you could be talking about potash, you could be talking about coal, uh, you could be talking about salt. Salt. So in India, the conditions are different. The uh, the, the the coal that it cuts is actually softer than the coal that gets cut here in South Africa. So you've got to modify the machine to be able to do that in India. In terms of its weight, uh, it's, it becomes a lighter machine for that. But if you were to use the same machine here in South Africa, you'd have to beef it up in terms of the weight uh, because the cutting conditions here in South Africa would be harder. So you, in order to design the machine, you need to look at the operating conditions first and then you then work it back into the machine to be able to, 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 uh, to operate in that condition. JA Engineering moved from a 5,000 square meter premises in Jet Park to a 20,000 square meter premises in Underbolt in December last year to allow for more room for research and development of surface mining equipment and expanded production capacity of existing equipment. The 15 million rand investment into the new facility, over and above the acquisition cost, involved gear manufacturing equipment, cranes and CNC machines. The company is working to grow its market share in Southern Africa, India and Australia, as well as its surface mining equipment portfolio, not just for coal, but for other commodities as well. Mahange elaborates. So the business started 37 years ago, and predominantly what it was focused on was coal and particularly underground. Okay? So about 5 to 10% of the business was surface uh, components, refurbishment of components from other OEMs. But where we were before, as in, in Jetpack, um, the space, there was space constraint, so we couldn't grow. The business had grown to a level where we, could, we were utilizing the whole space and it became unsafe, as in uh, people moving around and forklifts moving around. 
and we couldn't grow this uh, uh, surface business. Where we are now, uh, the building that we've got, it's about four times bigger than what we used to have uh, at Jetpack. Um, the crane edge here, we've got about 22 cranes, uh, heavy duty cranes. Uh, so that gives us an opportunity then to grow into the uh, surface business. And, and that will give us an opportunity to not only focus on coal and also other commodities on the, on the surface side. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.